Hey guys, what's up? It's your gaming here, and today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a brand new video. And today we need to talk because YouTube is not doing a great job at telling their content creators what's going on on their site. Now, some of you guys may know, and some of you guys might be on the low end of the ball, but YouTube actually came out with new guidelines that restrict people from doing you know very sexual explicit very warlike or controversial stuff so today guys we're gonna be talking about it and why it's just you know just dumb first of all YouTube's not telling their content creators what they're doing second of all these don't apply to a lot of people actually switch that around they do apply to a lot of people but people are getting so affected by it that there's just you know there's no way to make content on YouTube so guys today we're gonna be talking about that and uh, let's just get right into it. it this is absolutely absurd and really really dumb of YouTube now I want to tell you that this was actually uploaded maybe about three weeks ago so we're still in the new stages of this and I don't even know why they haven't even said anything about it and I wanted to wait until everything started dying down and I wanted to you know make anything on conclusion about this so like if anything came with it I do this and then that so I think three weeks was a good enough for me so let's get right into it first of all YouTube is creating this ad friendly content guideline the ad friendly content guideline is content that's appropriate for all audiences so kids uh, it okay first of all I want to say YouTube you can't have a YouTube account unless you're 13 so you know like that's this is very restricted for content creators um, but you know you could still watch a YouTube video even if you're five that's 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 the iffy part if it it has little to no inappropriate or mature content in the video stream a thumbnail or metadata such as the video title Wow so like I can't put like you know just you know, big booty twerking you know something like that you know you just can't have that in the title anymore so what's gonna happen to happen to Nicki Minaj when she wants to make a big booty video what is she gonna have to call it she's gonna have to call it Elmo on Sesame Street like that's the only thing you can do now if the video does not contain inappropriate content the content is usually net worthy or comedic and the creators intent is to inform or entertain not offend or shock okay I don't I don't get any part of that if the video does contain inappropriate content the content is usually are you assuming that my content is newsworthy or comedic I'm not I'm not you know on that ball like what it's assuming that I am you know in doing that you know making you know newsworthy stuff but let's get right into it the content that is considered inappropriate for advertising content that is considered not advertiser friendly includes but is not limited to some people haven't even mentioned that but it's not limited to some people are just going right in saying that the list that I'm about to read is you know just absurd but but is not limited to you know so let's get right into it sexually suggestive content including partial nudity and sexual humor some people are just gonna have to grow up with this like you know I don't I don't get how you don't make a joke like that that's what a lot of people thrive on is making those funny jokes about sexual humor uh, and I don't see you know why they did that but partial nudity you know what about if there's a what about if you're on a beach you know that's that's a problem that is a very that is a flaw in their system because the there's so many places around the world that have the partial nudity you know in effect beaches you know tropical places cruise ships 
a pool, you know, like, what is partial nudity? What is sexual humor? What? I don't get anything about that. I'm not suggesting that you go, you know, go to the beach to go see a girl. Because that's obviously what sexual suggestive content is. Obviously, it's suggestive. I'm not telling you to go out and go bang a girl, you know? That's not what I'm doing. Okay, so the sexual humor and bars and out of the way. Really, really dumb. There's some flaws in there. Obviously, this whole list is flawed. But let's get into the violence. The violence including display of injury, serious injury, and events related to violent extremism. Obviously, you know, I'm not joining ISIS. I'm not going to slash some guy's head off, you know. I'm a, I'm a friendly guy from Spokane, Washington. That's not me. But the thing about this is the display of serious injury. What about fail videos? What about parkour fails, you know? What about, like, if you're Tony Hawk and you want to make a YouTube video and you crash and you break your leg, you know, people are going to do that. Like TMZ, they post a lot of new stuff. They obviously post images and videos of people getting hurt, you know, and, you know, this doesn't make any sense because the display is serious injury. What is serious? Breaking my finger, spraining my elbow, you know, anything like that, dislocating my shoulder or anything along those lines. But uh, then you come on to inappropriate language, including harassment, profanity, and vulgar language. Now, so many content creators on YouTube do this type of stuff. They thrive on this. You know, this is how they make their money. This is how they make funny content. This is how they make comedic effect. And YouTube's just taken away from that. You know, it doesn't make any sense on why they're doing that. And so many people do that. And if you're going to not abide to these rules, you're just, your content's just going to get matured. And then you need to be over 18 to at least have a shot on, you know, something money worthy because they're just going to demonetize your videos if i haven't mentioned that already or you guys don't know if you don't follow these advert advertiser friendly content guidelines your content can't get any money so that's really really hard for people because you know they thrive on it also the promotion drugs and related substance regulated substances including selling use and abuse of such things you know People want to let people learn or know what what certain type of drugs do to you. Now, they're obviously promoting the opposite of drugs, but they're using drugs to promote that. So, there's loopholes in all of this, you know? Like, even in, if we go back to the inappropriate language is the, you know, the poop hole the poop butt, you know, what comes out of your butt, you know, what is inappropriate. Obviously, harassment, there's different types of that, profanity or vulgar language. This doesn't make any sense, all right? This does not make any sense on why they're doing this. There's just loopholes and everything in the system of YouTube right now. But one thing that I want to go against on YouTube, and, I, and I've thought about this, Controversial or sensitive subjects and events, including subjects related to war, political conflicts like the, you know, the political debates that are happening right now, natural disasters, and tragedies. What's tragedies? I don't know. I'm not going to name any tragedies off the top of my head or what I think of a tragedy is, uh, even if graphic imagery is not shown. So even if you talk about this, this is just what why why would you do this youtube this is where i want to get at controversial or sensitive subjects what about if youtube you know youtube is getting very heartbroken from all their content creators getting so furious at them is that sensitive to you youtube huh is this is this you know controversial is this sensitive to you youtube huh what about that is youtube's guidelines against their own guidelines 
Let's think about that for a second. You know, this is political. This is definitely isn't a natural disaster, but it's not related to war and it's not a tragedy. This might be a tragedy to some. Actually, let's talk about this. You is YouTube making people homeless? You know, because people thrive. People need that, you know, funny content and it requires not necessarily requires, but is helped by the cursing in videos. Now, like I said, it it's taking away your money and it for sure is demonetizing vid your videos so you cannot make any money like I said but it's making people homeless because people need that money to you know have a living and wow is YouTube's guidelines against their own guidelines huh I have never thought about that well maybe I'm the first but anyways guys that's gonna wrap up the video let me know what you think about the new YouTube guidelines I will leave a link in the description for you to go check them out for yourself so let me know what you think in the comment section below Hope you did enjoy. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh, damn. I would have never thought YouTube's guidelines were against their own guidelines. I'm out.